This year's German Africa Prize has been awarded to two scientists who identify the Omicron variant of the coronavirus. Sikulile Moyo and Tulio de Oliveira are based in Botswana and South Africa respectively and have been praised for helping the world better understand the pandemic and respond swiftly. We'll hear from them right here in the studio in just a moment. But first, DW correspondent Adrian Kreish visited their labs. The Botswana Harvard AIDS Institute is one of the leading HIV research institutions on the continent, with some of the best virologists, including Sikulile Moyo. When the pandemic hit, Moyo and his team turned their focus from sequencing HIV to COVID. And in November 2021, they made an unusual discovery. A new pattern with a high amount of mutations, the Omicron variant. They reported it immediately. I think it prevented a lot of potential, maybe, infections. Uh, the only unfortunate reaction was within a few hours, a few days, that uh, many countries in Southern Africa were blacklisted. Almost two years into the pandemic, the world once again went on full alert. Borders were closed. Flights to Southern Africa canceled. And suddenly, those who discovered it became scapegoats, even receiving death threats. A lot of people are saying, you scientists have big mouths, look what you have done. And it was very uncomfortable. A few hours after it was discovered in Botswana, scientists here in South Africa sequenced it too. Tulio de Oliveira was one of Moyo's PhD supervisors. Now they closely collaborate on their research. That's what this pandemic showed, that Africa can become a scientific leader on, on, on the pandemic response, which surprised many countries in the world, but, but, but did not surprise us because that's big investments that we have been doing, especially in people, but also in big labs and equipment for the past 20 years. De Oliveira is one of the leading scientists in the field of viral outbreaks and is also from the Global South. What surprised him was how busy the North was with itself during the pandemic. Ineffective uh, travel bans, yeah. So I think that was very, very, very sad how the world uh, had a chance to respond to a global problem and they decided to respond with a nationalistic approach, which didn't help. Despite these challenges, Moyo and de Oliveira continue their work, proving that leading medical research is also done in Africa and that Europe can learn lessons from the continent. Joining me here in studio are Dr. Sikulile Moyo and Professor Tulio de Oliveira, this year's recipients of the German Africa Prize. Welcome to DW and congratulations on your achievements. Um, take us, Dr. Moyo, to that moment when you were in the lab and you realized you were onto something. Thank you for having us. What an incredible moment to contribute to the world. Mid-November was special. Uh, during routine uh, sequencing of pathogens that we do on a daily basis with experience from HIV for many years, we are used to looking at the pathogen sequences to see if the patterns are similar to what we have seen before. So that mid-November was critical for us. We observed four sequences out of the 99 we had generated that particular day. They were clustering away from others. And when we looked at them, they had not seen, been seen anywhere else. We thought it was a mistake. We worked on the lab, we looked at it, and we contacted the Minister of Health. We called it an unusual lineage. Immediately after the data came in, we realized that this is a cluster of individuals traveling together. And our sequences were really showing that it's something that has not been seen before. And out of that, of course, working with our colleagues, we see that the same pattern of mutations were seen elsewhere uh, within the region that showed that something was going on. And immediately, new cases started going up. Mm. Professor Oliveira, did you at that time realize how globally significant this was? So, so it happened in the same day. We also saw uh, eight genomes in South Africa. We contact each other. We work together for, for, for a decade, yeah. And that time, then what we have to do, we have to call like an urgent meeting. And we call all the main big labs in South Africa. And then we identify where was the source of infections. And then we do this very fast sample transport, 100 samples from 100 different clinics, 
come to our lab and we start producing genomes in very fast turnaround time. We are talking about hours. By then, so less than a day after, we were sure that this was not unusual cases, were not just a little cluster, but was something completely widespread. And then it's my job as the head of the network to communicate with the government. And that normally fall talking to the health minister, to the Minister of Science and Innovation, and they decided that we should call an urgent meeting with our president, President Cyril Ramaphosa, who gave clear direction that he could really see a big pattern emerging there and that we should go public. And that's, and that's how within days of identifying the first cases and using a very advanced network that was constructed during decades of investment infectious disease, we could characterize in record time the, the what potentially the most important variant in the pandemic. And, and Dr. Moyer, uh, just coming back to you, this was an important moment for collaboration. Um, was this something that had been normal in, in, in your sector or did the pandemic sort of bring your work together across, across the different labs, across the different borders? This actually highlighted years of work that we have done in HIV and working together with our colleagues within Botswana and South Africa, uh, especially with uh, uh, Tulio, Professor Tulio's group, that we've been looking at mutations of TB, HIV, and other infections. So this was a platform that allowed us to respond very quickly. Mm. But Professor, as soon as you've achieved this, this significant moment, there was swift travel bans on African countries. Uh, there were also some people locally who were, uh, you know, blaming you, you for, uh, for disrupting their travel, their holiday travel plans. Did you feel that this dis detracted from your achievement? So, so, so that following days were quite hard, yeah, we, because the travel ban, which was absolute unnecessarily, and even an, an ethical, eh? We got many uh, dead threats. We end up have to work under armed security in our lab, but 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 we persevere. Yeah, we were protected at very high level by our own president coming public and highlighting that that this is not the fault of the scientists. And what became quite clear is that the Omicron spread everywhere, and I believe it caused a massive a wave of infection in Germany, for example, even despite the travel ban. And what become very clear is that Omicron is not even come from Southern Africa, it's just that we have invested for decades, hundreds of millions of dollars to construct some of the most advanced infectious disease program in the world. And do you think then that this is, is proof of what um, African medical research can do, can offer the world from, from what you were able to do in the labs? Yes, of course, and, 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 and now after the, the word learning that we should not punish uh, individuals and countries for discover of pathogens, they are beginning to come together. Eh? And that's why we are here. We, we have spent a week in Germany now, we just met with the chancellor yeah, to receive an award, and that's what we are saying. If we work together with the world and build on the big investment and scientific infrastructure and knowledge that exists in Africa, we can really help the world to become a safer place. And I hope the world learn from the mistakes eh? and instead of now yeah, yeah, f blaming and punishing for discoveries that we support and encourage that. Okay. And we see as well a strong partnership that we've met so many people this week in Germany that they could learn from what Africa is doing, especially in infectious diseases. Right. And we can learn from the high technology and innovations that Germany as scientists have, have developed. Okay. Well, I'll have to leave it there, Dr. Sipulile Moyo and Dr. Uh, Professor Tulio de Oliveira. Congratulations again, and thank you for speaking to us. Thank you. Thank you.